Welcome everyone, this is Gabriel Poor for SVN Network. We are here to present a new episode of the series SVN Yes and No. In every video of this series, we choose a model and ask the representative of a dealership or boatyard to tell us what are the main qualities of this boat, what they believe are the strong points. To provide a counterpoint, we point out similar or even better characteristics of the competition and we see what comes out. Today, the episode is dedicated to the Elba 45, a beautiful new catamaran by Fontaine Payot. And to present the boat, we came here to Punta Ala. Punta Ala is a beautiful place in Tuscany in central Italy and it's also the headquarters of Resnautica, the main dealer for the central Mediterranean and islands. So, without further ado, let's go meet Micaela Bravo from Resnautica. She will illustrate to us what she believes are the strong points of the Alba 45. Let's go. Follow me. Hi, Michela. Hello, Gabriel. How are you? Fine, thanks. Welcome on board. Thanks, and thank you for having us, really. Okay, so let's start. What do you think is the first strong point of this boat? The first strong point of this boat uh, is uh, the helm station. From here, we can have uh, a great visual of the boat. And also, we have all the sheets, uh, the three reefs uh, and the topping lift. Uh, here in the front of the helm station. So if there is just one person at the helm station, he can use, uh, open uh, the main sail and the genoa without no problem. Okay, uh, that's true. We could object that the Nautitech 46, for example, yeah. has two wheels uh, below and so they have a very good visibility too. Yes, that's true, but uh, you can see just one side of the boat. At a time. Okay, you do have to move to the other side. Yeah. Okay. What about the Lagoon 46? They have an uh, excellent helm station up in the flybridge where they have excellent visibility of the front of the boat. Yeah, that's true, but uh, while they are mooring, for example, mm. they don't see very well the rear. So mm. while we are moving with this boat, we can see uh, very well uh, the rear. So we okay. just move in this way and on this way and uh, okay. we see the two sides. Okay, well, let's move on to point number two. Point two is uh, the, the mast uh, of the boat. Okay. As on the monohull sailing boat, we uh -huh. have uh, the mast uh, in the right position, uh, in the front position. Mm. And also in the saloon, uh, the mast is well integrated. So we don't have the sailing mast uh, in the center of the saloon. Okay. Well, this makes, uh, however, the fact that the mast is forward means that the self-tacking jib will be very, very small. Yeah, but we don't have a self taking jib, but we have uh, a Genoa. Okay. So we have uh, more sail su surface. Yes. And also the boom is a bit different from the competition. They have a higher boom yeah. and with a bimini top perhaps. So why did you choose this solution? So one of the main topics is the safe for Fontaine Pajot. So the boom is inside the boat and also it is at the right height. So from here we can open and close the lazy bag very easily and we can check if the mainsail is going up in the right way. Okay, well then uh, let's move on to point three. Point three is the flybridge. Uh, this huge uh, flybridge where we have uh, this beautiful sofa and these two beautiful sunbed cushions. Yes, it is very nice and it's very big. The Lagoon 46 also has a very large flybridge, sunbeds, sofa, helm station on the same level. Yes, but so they are very uh, similar in this. This uh, is a real uh, cockpit okay. where people can talk to each other and also the person who is at the uh, wheel can speak with the other people that are sitting here. W why not on the lagoon? Because the person on the wheel uh, has uh, his back uh, to the other people, so it's quite difficult to chat uh, with them. Okay, well then let's move on to point number four. Point uh, four is construction. 
these boats are uh, built uh, in sandwich and uh, also the bulkheads are in sandwich and not in wood uh, like most other catamarans. Uh, this means that uh, these boats uh, are uh, faster and uh, uh, comfortable. Okay, so they're lighter and therefore they're faster, but we looked at the specs of the Nauditec 46 to make an example. They actually are lighter the Nauditec 46 is lighter than the Elba 45 and I suspect even faster. Yes, that's true, but the two keywords uh, for Fontaine Peugeot is uh, comfort and performance. So we have the two hulls that are very wide and uh, the cabins are very comfortable and there are a lot of space. That's true. Well, okay. All right then, let's move on to point number five. Point five is uh, light. Inside the boat, we have a lot of light uh, thanks to these uh, roof windows and also thanks to this wide opening between uh, the cockpit and the interior saloon. Mm. Well, uh, how about the comparison with the Bali 46? I mean, they have a very large door at the back, which goes up garage style and then creates like a single space between saloon and cockpit with lots of light. That's true, but uh, for example, we have uh, a real uh, dinette inside, a real saloon inside, uh, and uh, you can choose uh, also how much you can open and, and close uh, okay. the opening in this also. way. So you, you can choose to open the two parts uh, or to close the, the two parts uh, and also on the other side. Okay, so the door does the same thing. Yeah, you have yes. two sections that can... Yes. Okay. Well, thank you very much for having us, Michaela. Thank you for this interview. And that's it for today. Uh, please, if you like this video, click on the like below and come back to visit us at SBN uh, for the next video of Yes and No.